All right, so I'm gonna be um, comparing these two radios, the BCA Link 2.0 and the Oxbow Renegade X with uh, Bluetooth connectivity. So started using the BCA Link uh, 2.0 uh, on, on my snow bike last year um, and we found the communication to be you know super helpful uh, you know we're getting stuck a lot um, we're riding in the trees and uh, you know being able to quickly reach down and communicate with one another was super valuable <clears throat> and we've kind of made it to the point where we're using this in the backcountry when riding dirt bikes as well so out in the desert high mountain single track um, it's just really convenient to be able to push down on a button and communicate something without a lot of, um, without a lot of extra fuss there uh, and a minor weight penalty. So we'll compare kind of some, some specs here on, uh, on these two. So both of these radios are uh, two watt FRS radios. Uh, they each have 22 channels and 121 sub channels. That's those, you know, privacy codes there. Both radios are rated for IP56, so rain and snowproof. <clears throat> One thing uh, from the factory, the Oxbow radio comes with this frog skin, which is a permeable material that lets uh, air and sound uh, through, but not drops of water or, or snowflakes. Uh, that comes standard on this radio. They're available in the aftermarket for the BCA radio to cover this, this speaker area here. Uh, I do have that on my, my snowmobile radio, um, but that's an extra cost. I think it's about $10. Um, back to the kind of specs here. So on the BCA, they're showing an average battery life of about eight hours of normal use with a uh, life up to 40 hours on standby mode. Oxbow shows 36 plus hours. Um, presume that they mean that to be the, um, the, the standby mode there with, with some normal use. Um, the BCA has an internal battery, so nothing kind of comes off the back here. There's a USB port here to charge it, um, and it, and it gets plugged in at the bottom there. Uh, that is a 2300 uh, mAh lithium ion battery. The Oxbow has a removable battery. Uh, it charges with USB-C right here. Um, and then by pulling down on this and sliding outward, this radio will come out, this battery will come out. And the battery shows 1700 mAh um, and, and these are available for purchase separately from Oxbow on their website. I believe they're about $36 at the time of this video. Um, and so, you know, one thing to think about there is uh, things with internal batteries uh, over time and, and with, with depending on how they're used, that battery will eventually degrade and provide fewer hours of, of use. Um, and so once that's done, I, I don't know, you know, you'd have to have somebody open this thing up or send it back to BCA uh, if you're not getting enough battery life to get through the day. Whereas with the Oxbow, um, it seems like you can order yourself a new battery and uh, keep on using that, that radio there. So um, depends on if that matters to you or not, but one major thing that, that sets these two apart, um, even though this does have a, a slightly smaller battery in terms of capacity at 1700 mAh, versus the 2300 mAh. Um, beyond that, you know, just right off the boxes, uh, features are, are, are pretty, pretty similar there. Uh, taking a look at how these are constructed, the big thing that you'll notice right away is that the BCA has a hand mic uh, and the Oxbow does not. Um, and th the hand mic is not separatable from the BCA radio. It's actually required to use it uh, because the microphone is here. There's no speaker or, or microphone on the device. Um, this hand mic is disconnected here via this thumb screw and this little hook here. We've got some pogo pens, brass hardware, um, 
and and that's just a inherent design feature uh, of this radio. I have read some reports of these things breaking off over time, um, but I've also read that um, BCA has been good about sending in uh, under warranty new hand mics to replace them, uh, which is a, a good indicator of customer service there. So on the BCA, uh, everything is managed from this hand mic right here um, as far as your, 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 your day in and day out use. Uh, it's turned on like so. And you have presets for radio channels. So um, there's six available presets. You can kind of put these in ahead of your ride um, and on the fly flip through um, and this is, you know, generally attached to the outside of your backpack on the shoulder strap or, or something like that. Looking at the, the design here, uh, so the BCA radio has this clip on the back. Uh, this is removable with these two Phillips head screws. Uh, this part of the radio typically resides in my backpack. Um, so I, I'm going through, I'm setting this up the night before or the morning of. Uh, putting this down and then snaking this coiled cord uh, through my shoulder strap and, and using the radio through this for the majority of the day. Um, on the hand mic itself, we have a metal clip. This rotates 360 degrees um, and it has some soft serrations here that help it grab onto uh, whatever little loop might be on your shoulder strap or you can go sideways and attach it to the shoulder strap itself there. Uh, on the hand mic, there is a jack, which will allow you to attach an external microphone or, or something like that, uh, if that's something that you want. Coming over to the Oxbow, um, this again has the removable battery pack. On the back here, we have this uh, quick connect system, which allows you to attach different types of um, connectors for if you're going to put this on your, your shoulder strap or somewhere on your backpack. This is also removable or replaceable with these two Phillips head screws. And then what's included in the box is this uh, quick attach guy here. Um, pretty, pretty good fitment there. This opens up and there's some, some spikes inside and this is meant to be attached to the strap itself. Um, and you have this little kind of ratcheting feature here. Uh, this is a um, flexible plastic, but it's, it feels quite hard. Uh, I don't think it's gonna, gonna wear out on me. Um, and like I said, on, on Oxbow's website, there are other options. There's like a, a permanent mount that'll screw through the material um, and a couple of others. So um, you're not relegated to that one. On the side here, uh, we have area for uh, a, a separate microphone and separate audio there. And then you've got your push to talk button right here. Um, as far as you know, functioning goes, we'll, we'll do more of that in the second video. Um, but the Oxbow turns on by holding the power button we get a nice loud audio you know, tone to kind of tell us that it comes on. You can, you can turn that off. Um, and then to change radio channels, I'm just gonna go through here and pick my channel. Uh, and then if I press menu one more time, it allows me to augment my code here, my privacy code. If we hold this button down, it'll skip through those privacy modes without beeping each time. So it'll just kind of cycle through So we can go to four, we can tap menu, can hold that through, and it'll go down, it'll go up without making the annoying beeping sound each and every time. And then we'll just press the lock button and hold it to make these buttons not work there. Um, so that's that's the really quick and simple of like how this radio turns on and how the how the buttons are or the channels are changed. And that's it powering off. On the BCA radio, uh, it's turned on here. 
get a beep there as well. We unlock by holding these two buttons. And then by pressing menu, we're able to change the main channel. And by pressing menu once more, we can change the privacy code. Press OK. And then we'll hold these two to lock the radio, which makes these buttons not do anything. And on this radio, if we hold the up and down button at the same time, it'll show us 75. That's the amount of battery that's remaining in terms of a percentage, rather than just worrying about the uh, bars here on the left. Um, so kind of similar operation. Uh, these radios you know, talk to each other really well, nice and easy to set up. Um, but that's kind of the, the high level overview of the, the functions here. We'll going power that down. So looking at the weights, I've got a little kitchen scale here. And we're, we're zeroed out. So looking at this guy, looking at about 211 grams. Uh, so, so pretty light there. BCA is a little heavier. Uh, we'll, we'll line this up and attach this. And we'll get it on the scale here. Looking at about 315 grams. So a little bit of a difference there. Um, just going back to the hand mic versus uh, the shoulder, you know, the, the, the radio itself here. So the radio is a little bit thicker. It's a little bit longer and you lose this kind of flexible piece right here. This, this does flex a little bit, but um, as far as like the actual interface, not too big of a difference there. So one uh, major tech difference between the BCA Link and the Oxbow Renegade X uh, is this new push to talk button. Uh, these radios are very similar in cost for the, the radio itself. Um, we're, we're paying uh, 179 for the Oxbow Renegade X and about $189 for the BCA Link 2.0. Um, for $209, you can get this package with this push to talk button. Um, separately, it's available for $39.99. And what this is, is a rechargeable button uh, that will connect via Bluetooth to your radio, which will allow you on your handlebar to push this button. And you know it's essentially the same thing as pushing this button here. Uh, this has a USB-C charger here on the side. We've got some uh, rubber material in here to help it grip the handlebar. Nice positive uh, click button there. You can, you can definitely feel when you're using it or when you're not. Uh, and then there is a strap that will come through like so and allow you to wrap that around a handlebar um, of any size that you want there. Um, so this radio has two Bluetooth channels. It has one that's reserved for this push talk button. And then a second one that will allow you to connect it to a Bluetooth headset, like, uh, like the new Lexan Novus or one of the Cardo or, or Cena products. Um, so we'll do some testing on that in the next video. But, um, I think that's, a pretty critical piece of tech that's available from the Oxbow um, that's separate from the BCA because as we're riding, uh, we have to take our hand off of the handlebars of the you know snowmobile or dirt bike uh, in order to transmit, which you know effectively means stopping. Uh, we're not doing a lot of talking as we're you know on the go uh, there. So stay tuned. Thanks for thanks for watching. Um, please let me know what you think in the comments and. Um, We'll do some, some field testing on these and see how they work uh, here in the near future once it stops raining.